I was working with a man, and he had a brother in the RCAF, mm -hmm. and he had pictures of him with his Spitfire from England, yeah. and so we both got excited about going in the Air Force, so we both went to sign up. I enlisted to be as an aviation cadet. I graduated Christmas Day, yeah. 1943. 43. Then we, as we turned off the target, we got attacked by fighter planes. Mm. And so uh, I, I, I couldn't control, run, run my guns because I didn't have both hands. Yeah. Yeah, but I looked around, my, my navigator was laying on the floor, I didn't know what happened to him. So I I got out and checked his oxygen system had blown out so, mm. with that same burst of flak. So, and you only have about seven minutes to live mm. at that altitude without oxygen. And so I got out and hitched him into a, a, a walk-around bottle as fast as the floor. Mm. And I stayed with him for oh, maybe two or three minutes and he became he, came he yeah. picked his head up and pulled it out of the oxygen system. Yeah. So I, what am I going to do now? He passed out again. So yeah. this time he, when he, and I plugged him back in again, yeah. kneeled on him to hold him down, and they got another line from the other side and plugged him back in again. Were you still being attacked? Were oh yeah, but we, had, we were in the fighter attack at that time, yeah. and we, we we had twelve airplanes. And we lost six of them that day. And, and always the air war is a little different than any others because it, it's so impersonal. You know, you're not you're not actually coming in conflict with somebody that uh, the oh, somebody might be interested. The only time I, as a gunner, had a chance to shoot down a German fighter plane, there was a P-51 right in his tail, and I was afraid I might shoot the 51. So. I'd, Wow. And I left it alone, and the fighter plane did blow up right, right behind us. So I'm glad I didn't shoot at him. And you think, well, that could have been me, but uh, yeah. Uh, so you gotta believe in, in in fate, I guess, that uh, you're the lucky one. Hmm. We started flying every day, but the airplane couldn't take it. We hmm. could, because we had two crews. And so we started flying over Laos, but. We were flying only at 12,000 12, feet. The mountains went up to 6,000 feet. Mm -hmm. It was too dangerous because they could hit you with a rifle from that altitude. So they switched us over. We fly over the Gulf of Tonkin. Mm -hmm. But what we did then, we would we would take off with it early in the morning, fly a mission when the bombers went in. We were in there to really protect the bombers as much mm -hmm. as possible. And then we'd go back to Da Nang, refuel, be on the ground about three hours, and then take off and f go out and fly a mission in the afternoon, and then go back to our base. Mm. Well, the, the our airplane was strictly unarmed, and we had no fighter protection with us. We were alone out there, mm. and but we relied on our equipment. Our equipment was so good that, like I said, we had twenty-five members of the crew, and I don't know what all the all people did, but they could. Some of these people monitored radios and. Uh, yeah. We had three or four radars aboard, and we could, we knew where their fighter planes were at every moment there in the air. And while we were flying missions, we never ever lost a, one of our bombers to a, to another fighter. I, re, I retired it in, I guess it was April 1st, uh, 1969. The terrorism is such a terrible thing that, that uh, I was used to fighting people that had uniforms, and mm. and I thought it was odd. if it's more it's halfway honorable anyway. But uh, you know, you know, I they still have Veterans Day, but I think when I was young, it meant so much to me. But it don't I don't know, it doesn't seem to have the same feeling today. For I don't know what it is that uh, it's a little different. I don't know. I can't explain it. The, the, I think the biggest trouble that uh, our youth don't know enough about World War II. That was a very important war, and it was a terrible war when you think of the millions and millions that got killed. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, they, they, I don't think I used to understand, or really know about World War II. Because we, we're all different, you know, mm -hmm. that uh, we all have different feelings and, and uh, it's, it's, but, but, I'm American, and I've been in 
all run, somewhere around a hundred countries, and each country has something interesting and something different. But I'm an American, and uh, and I'm very proud to be an American. I've always felt my whole life I'll just do the best I can, and that that's all I can do. And if you really feel that way, I think it, we're all much better off for it.